Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today uh, Microsoft released the final 8.1 for Windows to everyone. Everyone that has a Windows 8 operating system installed into their machine, uh, you're most likely are able to go inside the Windows Store and retrieve the update for 8.1. Now, there's been word in the Twitter and a couple of Microsoft blogs uh, that a lot of people have been having issues so this is the whole reason for this video so I'm going to show you guys how to get the update if you can't retrieve it within the Windows Store now as I said earlier today Microsoft has released Windows 8.1 for everyone and uh, it, it's pretty exciting I have my notes right here because there's so much to talk about now uh, if you're not if you can't see the Windows 8.1 within the Windows uh, store most likely you guys need to update to KB2871839 update is an update that your machine needs to have uh, for 8.1 to be pushed out to your machine now if you guys cannot uh, get to this I'm gonna shoot it I'm actually gonna put the link at the bottom of the video so you guys can click and download that KB so you can get your machine ready for the Windows 8.1. Now, this really appears to be a common issue throughout the whole Windows 8.1 rollout. So don't worry about it, it's not your machine, it's not something that's happening to your machine only, it's actually happening to a lot of people. Uh, my two cents is because it's a huge rollout and a lot of people are trying to get it, hopefully a lot of people are trying to get it, uh, that's why the problem is happening. Now, another thing that comes in mind is a lot of people don't like to push out Windows updates, so that's another key feature as well. That's why you're not re receiving or you're not seeing the 8.1 update within your Windows Store because a lot of people don't push out Windows updates to their machine regularly. And I hope so. I hope you guys are doing that. Uh, now, for my Windows 8 Enterprise people, sorry, there's not going to be a self-upgrade package that you guys can actually push out to yourself. Again, Windows 8 Enterprise is mostly for an enterprise setting. Your IT department is the one that has to configure that package and push it out to you guys or roll it out. Most likely, they're testing it out before they roll it out to you guys, to the production uh, group or to the users on the floor. So. For those Windows 8 Enterprise people that are using it, most likely you can't do a self-upgrade and go to the Windows Store because uh, I know one office that I actually go to and check out some things, uh, they wanted me to disable the Windows Store, so they can't do it. Uh, now, for my Surface users, if you guys have installed Windows 8.1 Preview and are having issues uh, moving to the final build, you can actually check these directions out and go here. Uh, these are the kind of instructions that you guys could do with the Surface. Again, I will provide this information for you guys at the description. So you go to the link uh, and get all the information that you need. Get yourself up and running. Get yourself uh, your Surface up to the final build. Now, uh, it's been word that the update is between, for what I'm reading right here, is between 2.5 and 4.5 of gigs. So what that means, it's a pretty huge update, guys. So if you're actually going to push it out tonight, I kind of recommend just leave the machine over overnight or start it early in the morning and just let it be uh, because this update, you're going to really need patience and patience of virtue. So understand that this is not a, uh, a system update or a security patch. This is an entire uh Customize. It's, it's just rebuilding your entire operating system to look a little different. Okay. Now, with the new software, uh, which represents basically the reset and the rebirth of Windows 8. Remember, Windows 8 did not have that start button, and Microsoft was nice enough to bring the start button back in 8.1. But it wasn't really what we was expecting. Hey, it's Microsoft. Got to deal with it, right? Now, Windows 8 contains a grip of new features, such as it includes a new built-in applications, a fresh user interface, uh, a more powerful search technology engine within BIN. Uh, and so that's pretty cool. It also has an entire SkyDrive integration uh, because Microsoft is trying to work to ensure that you can continue and manage your 
files offline as well as you could travel or use it any machine anywhere and your files would travel. That was the whole point of SkyDrive. Uh, so they actually have SkyDrive really integrated and working well with 8.1 and I mean working well. I haven't been playing around a lot with SkyDrive and 8.1 but if you guys have been testing that out, hey let me know. Shoot a comment right below and let me know what you guys think about that. But uh, other than that guy, that's, that's about it. I don't really have much to say. I know uh, I'm kind of thinking how many people out there that are using Windows 8 is going to actually upgrade to 8.1. How many users out there are going to actually plan for this? Uh, I'm already using 8.1 preview, so I'll probably start playing around or uh, update myself over the weekend to the final build to see if anything has been changed. Uh, I know at my office, I have a couple of users using Enterprise, so most likely I have to package that stuff up and push it out to my testing group. Uh, because I've been getting a lot of uh, Windows updates for Windows 8. I mean, Windows 8's been getting a lot of security updates lately, and that's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the way that you guys can find uh, 8.1 update. If you can't find it in the Windows Store, and for those that have a Windows 8 uh, Surface device from Microsoft, and you guys have the 8.1 preview, and you're trying to upgrade to the final build, hey, again, I'm actually post all this stuff at the description, so you guys can click on the on the link. Go to the website, check that stuff out. Hopefully this is very informative to you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom of the video. As well as don't forget about hitting that like button. i catch you guys on the next video review or video or whatever. Peace out.